Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Tech Reviews and Gadgets episode where today we're reviewing a gaming headset with RGB lighting and a microphone. And you guys are currently watching Clearly. Today's episode, we have a very interesting product. This is actually from the company Gco, and this is actually a pro gaming headset. You know, it has virtual 7.1 surround sound, 50 millimeter audio drivers for you know gaming that are gaming tune, I should say. It even has RGB lighting, has a built-in microphone attached to it, cushion pads. You know, it has all the different bells and whistles that a lot of gamers look out for when they're purchasing a headphone or headphones or you know microphone system of some sort. So we're gonna definitely take a look at this product, see how it performs, all the functionalities it has, and see if it actually lives up to the hype, lives up to its name. But before we actually get started with this tech reviews and gadgets episode, make sure you guys go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload. Have any questions or concerns, leave a comment, enjoy the video, leave a like, and then also share this video out to anybody who may be interested in some sort of gaming headset. Also, if you guys actually you want to check out this product, the more details or specifications about it, that kind of stuff will be down below in the description for those who are interested, alongside with the link to make a purchase if you're interested in actually buying this exact model that we're reviewing today. But right now, what we're going to do is actually move over to the first look and unboxing portion of this video. So as you guys can see, the overall packaging and design is very, very interesting, you know. And obviously, they're kind of going for a black and green tone or a look with the box. But obviously, there's a few specifications and details, which I'm going to show you guys with a secondary camera angle. We've got the company's name, the branding, you know, even the picture of the actual headphones themselves. And this is actually the J65 Pro Gaming Headset. And yeah, overall, I love the packaging they went, you know, there's a few specifications and features, you know, noise canceling microphones unique headband design, RGB light effect. The backside has a longer list of like, you know, the technical stuff, if you wanna take a pause and look at that. And then on this side, it just says Voltro 7.1 surround sound, like I mentioned, deep bass, and also has gaming tube 50 uh, millimeter um, audio drivers that are actually embedded into the speakers of the headphones. So, let me actually quit cracking with this box. We're gonna open it up, crack it open. It comes in a nice uh, bubble wrap kind of packaging, just like like so. So we do get included with a user manual for this headset and it, it just goes in, you know, more detail. But let me actually pull it out and you guys want to see how massive these headphones are. Holy cow. These are massive. And this is how the headphones look like. You know, we got the cushion pads like I mentioned on the top. We got our actual headpiece or our microphone on the side right here and you can actually rotate this and twist it and do all sorts of things with it. And overall, this is how the headphones themselves look like. It has a really unique design and really premium look to it. And I'm gonna show you guys with the uh, secondary camera. Got the company's branding on the top, Jetco or Gco. The cushion pads on the side right here and this is obviously for different um you know sizes of heads you know if your head's too big it's going to probably get pushed out more if your head's small it can kind of compress down this is how the design looks like on the side very interesting, really nice. I love the accents and I love the black look that they went. And then we also have a lot of functionalities with the actual USB controller box. So obviously you can power it on and off right here. And actually in the middle, if you stop in the middle, that's actually how to mute the microphone on board with this headphone. We obviously have our volume control knob right here in the middle and our RGB on and off switch. So you can turn it on and off. And that's basically it for the USB controller box. And then we actually have our USB port that we need to plug into your PC or your laptop. In my case, it would be this laptop behind this box. All that's left to do now is actually proceed with the demo where we actually test out these headphones just to see how they actually perform.
All right, so now what we're gonna do is actually take our USB cable, we're gonna remove this protecting you know, piece of plastic that they added, and basically now I'm gonna actually untie this. Actually, we don't need to, we don't need to untie it. I'm just gonna plug this into my laptop here, and let's see if it configures and boots up. You guys should hear something if it does. And you guys can hear it already connected, paired up. And we have the RGB lighting on. Look at that, wow. That looks so good on camera. And even with my studio lights being on, you guys can see it still gives off a really nice effect. And the RGB lighting actually has like a chase effect, which is really nice. We even have some RGB lighting on the controller box itself. And I really like the look of these headphones. The microphone even has some lights onto it. The sides have some lights to it. Even the company's logo on the side has some lighting to it. So all we gotta do now is basically put these on and we're just gonna see how they fit on my head. So you guys can see my head's kind of big, so I was able to actually, you know, push the cushioning up above me. But this is how it would look like if I was using this in a, you know, traditional scenario or traditional um, situation. Um, so this is how it looks like on my head. You can actually adjust the microphone to fit how you want. So now it's actually, you know, pointed towards my um, mouth a little bit. I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit, there we go. And you can easily adjust that. So overall, it has a really good, comfortable fit and design, I like that. Um, I don't feel like it's gonna fall off me if I shake around. And there's actually a bit of noise canceling with these ear muffs that they actually implemented. For the most part, it feels like most of my ear is actually embedded inside the ear muffs and not actually you know, touching the ear pads themselves or the microphones, not, uh, not the microphone, the headphones themselves are not sitting on top of my ears. Um, if you guys kinda get what I'm trying to say so I have a song pulled up and now what we're gonna do is actually just take a look and listen to the sound quality of these headphones so I'm gonna play the song and I'm gonna gradually increase the volume let's see if I can increase it looks like I can so I'm able to decrease it with this and increase it wow these actually get very loud Yeah, this is actually pretty good bass with these headphones as well. And I have it at max volume right now. Not bad. Mmm, very good. I'm actually really impressed with the sound quality. Let me give you guys a sound sample. Yeah, honestly, it sounds really good. Very nice, honestly. I'm very impressed with the quality I'm getting. So let's actually proceed to test out the microphones that are built in to this headset. Let me click on the record button. And right now, you guys are hearing audio coming from this headset. They did mention that there's actually noise canceling with this headset, so hopefully it's actually able to cancel out the background noise. I'm just gonna stop talking. And it shouldn't be able to capture anything or any of the background ambience that you'll typically get with a lot of microphones. Um, how does the sound quality sound like? Does it sound loud and direct? Is it loudly and clear? Like if I was in the lobby playing games with people right now, will you guys be able to hear me loudly and directly? Um, do you hear any static interference? I'm gonna end the recording and I'm gonna listen to back to this and see how it sounds. Okay, so I just listened to the audio that this headset captured and let me just tell you guys, I'm actually very amazed with the sound quality. The sound quality was very loud and direct and also very, very decent. You know, from just even the audio that we listened to with the music and also recording off of the microphone that's built into this headset, everything looks really, really well. And with the headset, it was actually canceling a lot of the background noise. So that statement that the company's made is actually very true. I didn't do any editing. I didn't do any manipulation of the audio. What you hold from that audio was the raw audio that this microphone that's on board captured. There's a lot of functionality with this headset. And honestly, I'm really impressed with the overall build, construction, and all the features it had to bring to the table. 
So, one of my final opinions and remarks about this Geco um, J65, you know, gaming headset. Well, it's a very fantastic, you know, set of um, technology that I reviewed on the channel, you know. I haven't reviewed a lot of RGB lighting, you know, products, so this is definitely very unique. You know, I like how there's RGB lighting on the headphones themselves. The sound quality, like I mentioned so many times, was actually really good. Like, I'm, I'm still a little bit impressed with that, because, you know, when you're looking at budget headphones or budget headsets you don't really expect a whole lot because you're paying the price of you know what you would typically get for that price but with this exact headset I feel like even with the pricing it's set at right now it's actually exceeded my expectations in a lot of ways you know I'm actually getting more for what the price is of these headphones so overall I'm actually really impressed with the quality of these headphones and I don't really have any complaints to it you know even the earmuffs are really big enough to fit most people's ears and actually the headphones themselves don't rest on top of your ears so there's just a lot of different things that they really thought about when designing these headphones and I think that the consideration is what really made these headphones you know what they are so overall I'm really impressed and I'm really happy with the results I got with this exact headset but with that being said we are going to conclude the video though hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode and if you guys did make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications on to get updates and alerts when we do upload have any questions or concerns leave a comment enjoy the video leave a like and then also show this video out to anybody who may be interested in some sort of gaming headset also if you're a business or a company wanting to potentially work with me our business increase email is crew elite yt at oak.com you guys can shoot me a message if you want to potentially work with me or if you need any photo assistance with this product you all can do that you know by just reaching me out through my business increase email and then lastly product specifications details parameters all that kind of stuff will be down below in the description for those who are interested alongside with the link to make a purchase if you actually want to buy this exact model that we reviewed today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tech reviews and gadgets episode. I know I didn't make it and I hope to see you guys all on the next episode. Clearly signing off. Thank you guys all for watching and have a good rest of your day.